Hey you guys, I just want to put out a little bit of a message before the video starts. We are going to be doing quick Konar Slayer week, so I just want to tell you guys right now we're going to do one episode per day, Monday through Friday this week. You know, why am I doing this? Mostly because I want to challenge myself. I want to put out, you know, five videos in a week rather than two, which is crazy for me. <laughs> I just want to try something. And my Konar Slayer videos tend to do better in the amount of views. I mean, it's kind of hit and miss, but if, compared to my other guides, the Konar Slayer videos definitely have a better chance of getting more views, it feels like, for some reason. That's all, I just want to give you guys a warning for this coming week. But next week, we're going to be back to the normal video schedule and doing other stuff besides Konar Slayer. So, I hope you enjoy the episode. What is going on everyone? Try Hard Casual here with another episode of Quick Konar Slayer, the video series where I very quickly go over any random Konar task I might get. We are up to episode 15 already, so you probably already know that I'll show you everything you need to know about this task, but I'll just show you how I do it and then you can make adjustments here and there if you want to switch it up a bit. So on today's episode, we have Dagonoth in the Lighthouse. You know, let's just jump into what type of gear we're going to need to bring on this one. Typically with Dagonoth in the Lighthouse, you can go with either melee or ranged for your combat style. I'm going to opt for melee because that's what I want to train right now. For most of my options, I'm just going to go for max strength basically, get the best bonuses I have available. I will bring a Dragonfire Shield to help with defense a little bit since we're not going to camp prayer on this one. I'm also going to bring a Ring of Wealth just to kind of collect a little bit of extra money. And I'm actually going to bring a Bracelet of Slaughter because Dagonoth's at the Lighthouse are one of the best XP rates in the game right now and you really want to extend this task if you have it available to you. I will say if you're a lower level you probably want to camp some prayer on this one so I'll leave some budget options on screen now and you just want to bring some more prayer potions with you in your inventory. But looking at our actual inventory we're going to start with a Ceridome and God Sword as our spec weapon. A nice alternative to that would be a Dragon Dagger to spec with. We will have some lobsters with us for a little bit of emergency healing. We'll have super attack, super strength, super defense potions. Now we are going to bring a cannon with us because this is basically what makes the task so good for experience is just being able to cannon down in the lighthouse since it's multi-combat. So you'll definitely want to bring one if you have access to it. We will bring an additional bracelet of slaughter with us just because the first one will definitely be all used up. We have a Draymond staff to help us get there. We are going to bring a gem bag and a seed box for the drops from the Dagonoth. In the rune pouch, we're actually not going to have alkabal runes, we're just going to have some runes for bones to peaches to help us heal throughout this thing, and we're going to have some house teleports to help us get out of there. So getting to the lighthouse is actually quite easy. Like I said, we're going to have the Draymon staff to get to the fairy ring that's right outside the entrance. If that's not available for some reason, then you can always take a games necklace to Barbarian Assault and then just run up north a little bit and you'll be right there. All you're going to have to do is walk right down the ladder to get inside the dungeon and then the Dagonoth are going to be right there. Okay, now that we're down here, we pretty much just set the cannon up anywhere and start auto-retaliating and killing all the Dagonoth. So I will get back to you guys after the task is finished. I think that was the fastest task we've ever done. It only took 12 minutes to kill over 100 of those guys. And we got a fair bit of Slayer experience on top of that for only taking 12 minutes. I definitely missed some drops in there, so our profit is probably going to be kind of low. But we did get lucky with the Snapdragon Seed. If that didn't drop, then we basically would have made nothing. I mean, even with the Snapdragon Seed, I think we're still going negative because of all the cannonballs we used. But that brings us basically to the end of the video. Dagonoths at the Lighthouse are definitely one of the best Slayer options in the game for experience rates, so you should definitely do them if you have the option for that. But that is it for now guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.